Is it fair to say, just by how five like-minded, intelligent individuals, how we can pick up a little bit of disagreement among you five, is it fair to say that that is why it is so difficult to get anything through Congress when you go to Washington to try and find that? Oh, you disagree <laughs> with me already, Bill. No, I, th I think Congress is very uh, short-minded in terms of time. They want to be perceived to be doing something that helps people between now and November. Mm -hmm. And that is not the period of time in which you're going to sort out Social Security or any other big problem. There are all kinds of problems that are going to be there after, no after the election in November. And then you can't, you can't start thinking about it every time with the expectation of, of doing it between now and the next election. We have a very short-minded uh, political system, and uh, we need people to be willing to think beyond uh, the next election. You know, I think it's important for us to remember that our founding fathers had a very different idea of the Congress than the one that has emerged. They had the idea that it would be a part-time activity. They would go there to help certain problems, and they would go home. Now they have become careers, they have become jobs, and therefore their primary orientation is how do I keep my job and how do I get reelected? So what I'm arguing for basically is we the people, and this is a wonderful democracy, have to get ourselves informed, activated, motivated, organized, to let them know that you want them to do something about this problem now, and if they don't, their jobs are at stake. And that's a very different strategy than listening to all these special interests tell them, I want more of this, and I want more of that, and I want this tax preference. 